right, what's happening? Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Selling Past Your Expiration Date, being thrifty over 50. I'm your one host, Jason Thrifts. I'm Peg. That's my mama. Hi, guys. Well, it seems like we haven't been together forever since we had a week off in between. I know. Yeah. I know. So two weeks away for us. And look I miss how, all look how, nice, look how nice you dressed up. I just pulled out the uh, the top <laughs> clean shirt. Well, well, you know why? I'm either in sweats or pajamas all day long. And I said, this is the first time I've had makeup on since our last show. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm going to get cleaned up because this is getting bad, really bad. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Tina wants to know if it's snowing. No, Tina, but I am going to give you a weather report since I last saw you guys. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So last time we were together was the 5th, which was three days before our anniversary, which was April 8th, which it landed on a Wednesday. It was gorgeous here. I mean, gorgeous. It was 65 degrees. Um, uh, it, 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 just a beautiful day. And uh, we'd been working out in the yard. And then uh, Dad, around 11.15, uh, Dad says to me, let's go have a cocktail, a drink, and celebrate our anniversary. He goes, okay. So we go on the deck, and our son Buzz comes along. And we had a drink, and we started playing euchre. And the next thing you know, one drink is two drinks, three drinks, four drinks. <laughs> I don't do more than two drinks. No. <laughs> no. And the fourth drink, we were having a very good night. I tell you, it's one of the silliest and funniest uh, anniversaries ever because, you know, when we're isolated, what are you going to do? We danced. We sang. You know, we were just having a ball on the deck, you know, because it was such a gorgeous day. Well, then from there, <laughs> we got into it it, 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 it. it just went bad. You know, then we had... Um, was that Easter Sunday? Yeah, that was Easter Sunday coming up. And we got some snow prior to Easter and so forth. Then all of a sudden the weather turns into this storm thing. We have a microburst go through our, our yard, which is kind of like a tornado, everybody. Well, we got hit kind of bad, not as bad as some of the others. We had three huge trees go down. We got one leaner. Oh, Jason, I should have had you put that picture up. We got one leaner out in the front yard. That's really bad. Uh, and luckily we have such wonderful neighbors that they came over and cut up the tree that was, went down across our front lawn that's out by the road uh, and cut that away for us. Um, but our, our other two neighbors, one lost 40 trees, you guys, the other one around 30. And I mean, it just went through and just chopped them off and bend them over and the, you know, the, you know, all the, the, the roots are tore up. I mean, we, just, we got hit bad. We got hit bad. Luckily our house not as bad as my neighbor right next door to me. So that was nastiness, needless to say. Then we get five inches of snow. Then we get six inches of snow. Right, so there's, there's the leaning tree just waiting yep. to go down. Yep, there's the leaning tree, guys. And there's the snow <laughs> on the flamingo. I know. I mean, it's just been awful, you guys. Just awful. You know, I mean, you just. People wonder why I don't live in Northeast Ohio anymore. Oh, yeah. It's been 78 every day here. And I have to say, today was beautiful in Ohio. We did have a nice sunny day, about 60 degrees. And I actually got outdoors, you know, to do some things. But, you know, it's just, it's just been crazy, guys, these last two weeks. Oh, and then to top it off, Thursday night, our furnace dies. <laughs> and we've been without heat since Thursday night. Now, Thursday was cold, really cold. So we had space heaters going and candles burning, <laughs> everything we could, bundled up with all kinds of coals on us. So, yeah, I, I agree, Angela. The story sucks. And, uh, and, and, you know, so here we are without heat. Uh, supposedly the park comes in on Monday and hopefully they're here on Tuesday to see if we can get us uh, back to some heat. Luckily, I'm not freezing. I was almost going to start the show bundled up in my winter coat, but, you know, not too bad. Not too bad. So, uh, Becky uh, and Anna were talking about your meetup. Uh, uh -huh. Of course, you haven't had it. Right. Uh, but Becky said maybe one person in our group uh, could organize a Zoom virtual meeting by the end of the month. If you guys don't have anybody else, I'll, I'll do that. I can set that up for you. Oh, that would be great. You know, I think that's a really good idea because, boy, oh, boy, I really feel like we've lost connection here a little yep, bit. Yeah, we can do that. So if no uh -huh. one else can pull it off, I'll be happy to do it. And oh, yeah. you know, it's the rare day when I'm going to leave this just kind of blown out and me in the dark because it is so nice and the breeze coming through. I can't yeah. close up my window right now. It's just, well, it's just too nice. It, it, it's just too nice here. So, And I'm moving out of my cute little jungle bird tiki mug today. I, I'm not drinking out, but I have it sitting right here still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just the cutest, but yeah, you definitely need a straw for this one. There's no yeah. doubt about that. Yeah, it, it's definitely uh, form over function. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. looks gorgeous. Oh, yeah. It's a little tricky, but uh, it's good to have on the on the shelf. 
So I hope you all had a wonderful Easter. I mean, this was really, really difficult because not being with any of my family. And then yesterday was my granddaughter Willow's sixth birthday. So we drove over to the house. We didn't go in. We stood outside uh, through the glass doors, you know, gave her her presents and watched her open up her presents. And uh, so that kind of sucked, not being with my grandkids to hug them or kiss them. Mommy's not liking that too much, <laughs> you know. So I it's, can it's imagine. Tough. It's tough. I'm sure it's tough on everybody, and I'm sure others have had it more difficult than me. But, you know, it's uh, it's quite an adjustment, quite an adjustment. And I just don't know if I'm quite ready to go back to, you know, being involved to come May 1st. That's a little scary for us older folks still, I think. You're and, old? Uh, well, I, I don't act it, though, do I? You don't act it. The driver's license says you're all, but you definitely don't act it. Oh, about one month and I'll be 77. What yeah. <laughs> all right. Mean? So speaking okay. of old things and that was a setup, but it works so well. What a segue. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're talking about today. All right. So I want to see uh, uh, a show of virtual hands in the chat. Mm -hmm. How many of you have ever ran a 50% off sale in your eBay store? And when I say 50% off, I mean like this. Oh, look, fun little things. Boop. 50% off sale, sale, sale. So who, uh, tell me, uh, tell us, have you, have you, or have you not ever ran a 50% off sale? Yeah. Because, uh, oh crap, I got to go find that post where we got all the information. All right, keep an eye on the on the uh, responses, Bob. I, gotta, I totally okay. forgot. Oh, a lot, a lot of no's. Tina says she has. Nope, nope, nope. Yes, from uh, Lillian Jansen. Mostly no's. Yes, on a small amount of items from Debbie Vandermark. Cool. Nope, 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 wow, nope. a lot more no's than I really expected. Yeah, yeah, quite quite a bit. Heavy on the percentage. Chris Nelson says he has, or she has. I'm not sure if that's a guy or a girl. And Thrifty Elf has never ran a sale at all. Well, we have got to talk to you. <laughs> okay there, Facebook. Yeah. I, need to, I need to be able to search. Oops. All right. It, well, yeah, I, I, I blew it. I didn't have the post ready. That's right. Ron says yes, but I had inflated prices. Well, that's okay. Yeah, they, that, that works too. That works too. Yeah. 3%, 40%. Alan Cohen, yes. Okay. But a lot of no's. A lot of no's. <laughs> Don Williams says I've lost 50% on postage mistakes. <laughs> oh, wait, we've all been there. That's for dang sure. Oh, for sure. Uh, what did Becky I call this? Know. Becky probably doesn't have to. She moves her jewelry so fast. <laughs> yeah. You know. But all right, let me ask back. If you are um if you are at your computer, what's your oldest listing, Becky? I know your stuff moves quite uh fast. But what is your oldest listing on your computer? I mean, on your computer. If you go to your eBay. Yeah. Let us know, Beck. All right. I'm so miffed at myself. I don't know where this post is of mine. Uh, and Ann Mill says, no, she usually moves her old stuff to cheap auctions. All right. Well, that involves a lot more work. Yes. So we're going to show you this in a quick second here. Like I said. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Uh, hey, Stace, can you go into the thrifting board and see if you can find the post that I started last week to see <laughs> how old people's listings are? I meant to compile that. So while 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 I'm looking for that and and Stacy's helped me look, let's talk about the things that you sold at your because you ran a 50% off sale this week. I ran yeah. a 50 percent off sale. So let's talk about how old the listings were right. on the sale. Now the, the thing with mom's sale, I came into it late. Now, if I normally I should have started sooner. I normally run a sale either five or seven days, you know, depending. This was like a day and a half, <laughs> you know, that, my, that by the time I said, oh, I got to get this up and, you know. So, uh, yeah, this Tripoli game was originally listed in 2018, you guys, uh, probably uh, more, more towards the beginning of the year. I, I don't have the exact uh, date because because what happens here is mom, um, you know, I do sell similar. So that erases out the old date. But I know that this one is at least two years old, at least. And, and like for fifty percent, and, and at this point, I am ready to say goodbye. I mean, just because goodbye, it's farewell. Just because it sold for cheaper money, so what? Is it off the shelf and gone? Yes. All right. So you sold your Tripoli, and uh -huh. mm -hmm. and then Chinese Charlie. They say games are big, you know, at, at this point because people are trying to find things to do. This was from 2016, everybody. That's four years old. Oh, that is really sad. Really sad. And I got nine bucks for it. Because if it doesn't sell here, you guys, it's going in my garage sale, and that becomes like a dollar item. 
So, you know, at least you got, what did I get? $8.99 on the, on the sale. So, you know, it's better than a buck. Okay. Hey, Caroler, what? Say yeah. this. No. In fact, there's a few more that mom's going to actually be put, putting up uh, on a bigger sale because um, I've got some old ones and, and they're they're just the average uh, ones. They're not uh, exciting, uh, you know, carolers. So this one I got uh, ended up getting $14.99 and it's actually a teenager uh, size. So it's one of the smaller ones. So 15 bucks is still decent. You know, it's not awful, but uh, hey, it, it went out the door. All and, right. Uh, hey, Jason, was, you stop looking. I found the post. Okay. Well, that was 2017. All right. Was, so, uh, all right. So Becky, uh, oh, she ends a relist her items every day, Becky. So yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So I, I started a quick, uh, 13 board poll a couple days ago. What is your oldest listing? And I start with mine. Mine is May 14th, 2017. And I expected to see some 2017, 16, 15. So like Cheryl White was the first, she said 2015, uh, Nicole sprung 2019. So hers is pretty good. Um, Joyce Martin is May of uh, 19. Craig Dawson, June of 2017. Mm -hmm. 2017. Uh, Sandy Thibodeau, I'm afraid to look. <laughs> <laughs> That's huge. 2018 by Grace Johnson, Fran Bowman, 2018. And then we get to, let me find here. here here's a 2015. All right. So I thought this was going to be our win win winner. Andrew Plax, July 20th, 2007. But it's oh. an item he's been selling forever that he buys wholesale. Okay. Which I, I understand that. So that's a little bit different. And a lot of 2019s. And then our winner, let me get to it, is, I'll go to the bottom and come back because I know it's close to the bottom. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh are we supposed to be seeing this on the screen? Nope, we're not. Nope, I'm just reading it. Okay. Cynthia White, October 5th, 2005. Oh, okay. You should, unless unless it's like a wholesale thing where you, you are selling yeah. the same product over and over and over, you definitely should never have a 15-year-old listing. Oh, my. Be still my heart. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're going to talk about how to get rid of those now. Uh, oh, mom had one more. Sorry. Uh, yeah, these were the Rapid Cups. These were listed September 8th of 2017, you guys. So to get 12.47, and I, I think I only paid like a couple of dollars for them. So I still made some money. You know, it's not that you're giving it away totally. You're still making money. So, you know, moving on. All right. So I ran a 50% off this week, and I'm going to show you how to do one today. Uh, mm -hmm. This shouldn't have been in my 50% off. However... Uh, this is one of the Frankie's mugs. I sell all the Frankie's mugs. This one doesn't move too fast because I did look. It's been up there since June 9th of 2019. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, you know, it's not, yeah, not super long, but we're talking nine months. I paid 18 for it. It's over 25, made a couple bucks on shipping and it's gone. So I wasn't that upset. I did make a couple bucks and uh, it, it moved on. This one um, I got recently, again, I, I, I was pretty good on picking my 50% offers. This one really shouldn't have been in it, but I did only pay three bucks. So I did make some money on this. Yeah. Uh, this one was older and it's one of those music things where at the day I bought it, it seemed like a good idea. And then I'm like, oh, there's a lot of people that have this. I must've done bad research, uh -huh. but I paid five bucks. I didn't sell it for 15 plus shipping. So again, didn't lose money. No. Oh. And then I bought all these cool kind of old school trucker hats that ended up being all construction hats from Las Vegas. And they they sell, if you watch, if you tune into Thrifty Business on Thursday, you saw one go to Malaysia. Uh, mm -hmm. But I only paid a quarter each. So I, I tried them at 30 bucks and, and you know, they've been slow sellers. So I ran a sale and then I sold this one for 15. So, I mean, a quarter uh, to $15, you know, pretty good. All right, absolutely. Okay, so if you've never ran a 50% off sale, I, I I don't suggest it on your whole store unless maybe you do a one day or if you are in need of some cash inflection real quick, mm -hmm. if you want to get your stuff moving. Because look, I also price, and I, I try to teach everybody, I price my stuff 20% above what the going retail rate is for that item. So if I ran a 50% off sale and I've already started 20% above where it should be, I'm only really running the 30% off sale, but it looks like I'm running the 50% off and that's good. All right. So from your seller hub, 
you want to go to marketing and promotions and create a promotion and we're going to do sale event plus markdown which is the bottom one there and then we're going to do a percentage off obviously we're going to go to 50 percent mm -hmm. and click on select items and give me a quick sec uh, all right so uh you can create rules it is quicker and easier to just select items uh i have about a thousand items in my store uh, i'll probably maybe get to the 500 but maybe not right in this little demonstration but let's click on select items and you can do some filtering here like days on site but uh it is uh by um by my oldest, these are my older ones. So I'm a, uh, I'm good to start right here. And what we see is, doo -doo 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 -doo, uh, 200 items per page. So if that gets a little daunting. You can, you know, you can work in 50 items a page, 100 items a page. Well, I like to work in 200 items. And so knowing that this is a lot of my older stuff, I'm going to click this top checkbox here. So it'll give me 200. But I'm going to remove some of the things I don't want to be on 50% off. Right. So these first, uh, this this picture of this deer, this fabric, these CDs, they've all been up forever. Uh, these queen size pantyhose been up forever. That's a shirt. Yeah, this is all stuff that's been hanging around for a good two years. So cruising on down. Uh, don't see anything that I wouldn't want to get rid of at 50% off. And we'll find something that I decided I don't want to do 50% off. And we will knock that out of the contention. Now, you could just go one at a time, but I know these are my oldest. So, all right, cool. Let's just quickly get through these 200. Mm -hmm. uh, this one, I don't think I've marketed right yet. Oh, well, that's 50% off. It'd be 50 bucks still. Yeah, I'll leave that there. All right. I don't want to do 50% off on this frankie's mug so i'm going to uncheck it mm -hmm. uh okay uh yeah these are all still pretty good all right so far i'm liking everything else you know some aren't that old but i'm okay with moving stuff too i don't know right. uh, yeah so that's what mom did on the same thing all right, I like. The, I don't want to put this dress at fifty percent off for this one, so I'll uncheck these. I actually got a customer talking to me about this Nike Hyper Shield jacket, so I'm going to uncheck that. Uh -huh. I don't want that to go at fifty percent off. Now, if you as we're scrolling, if something caught your eye in about sixty-two seconds, they'll be on sale fifty percent off. So feel <laughs> free to go shop yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, definitely don't want my uh, spirit jerseys on half to half off sale. Because by the way, do you have a large haunted mansion one? Uh, no, I got to let this two X. Ah, uh, okay. All right. So, uh, pretty good on everything else. And uncheck that one. Uh, yeah. I don't want that to be half off. I do not want that to be half off. Nor that. Uh, nor that. And not that. And as you'll notice, everybody, as Jason is taking those ones off that he doesn't want on sale, the number by the down below on the right there changes. So you know it, it keeps count for you. So you'll know, you know, when you hit your five hundred. So uh, Becky's got a great question, which I'll answer in a second. Now, if you want to continue on to select all five hundred or a few more, uh, you don't click confirm selections that's when you're done done so we would now move on to page two and those 188 are already staying selected as you can see it's still 188 selected and then if i go up to the top here and select yeah, let's select these couple of records as you can see 189 190 191 so here i'll do an even 200 today what do we got here six more five more six more all right. None of these things I care if they sell for 50% off because they've been hanging around too long. And I will still make money on all of these if they sell at 100% uh, 100 off. <laughs> we'll make any money doing that. At 50% okay. off, they'll still make me money. Good. All right. 200 bucks. 200 bucks. 200 items. Now I'm going to click uh, confirm selected. And 
Uh, you can now add more items or save and review. So this is where you want to set your parameters, how long it's going to run and when it's going to start. So they kick it a ways out. I always want it to start right away because why wouldn't you? And then they give you a month, and I don't want to run a 50% off for a month. I do want to make it feel like if someone happens to stumble across my 50% off item, oh, my gosh, this ends in three days. I, got, I better hurry and get this. I don't want them to see, oh, this ends in a month. <laughs> even, if, even if you run it a couple times you know, in a row, it, it, it has that kind of countdown. So let's run it through uh, Wednesday night at 11.30 p.m. I got to watch the time, those of us that live on the East Coast. <laughs> I got burned on that once, you know, not realizing Pacific time and Eastern time. So watch right. that. Fifty percent off April sale and launch, and then we're done. Now my stuff's all on sale. Okay, I have a question. Yeah. Um, unless you want to answer Becky first. Yeah, let me go back up so I don't lose, lose Becky. Yeah. yeah. Becky. If you send an offer out to a watcher and you run the fifty percent off sale on that item, does eBay take another fifty percent off? Your offer price, if they accept it, I seem to remember getting stung. No, you, we have just set the price point at that item. Now, what I would recommend is send any offers out before you run your sale. I actually have like 70 things I could send an offer out right now. But uh, no, that won't make an additional 50% off. It, it's a locked in price now. So if I had a record for 20 bucks and I just threw in the 50% off, it is at 10 no, no matter what. So if you happen to send out an offer ahead of time and then you ran the sale and someone accepts your offer above what your sale price is, you're good. You're good. That is a locked in price. Good. Okay. You want my question? Yeah. Okay. Now, what if you want to run a 50% off sale on just certain categories rather than going through like you did? Yeah, you can do categories. Uh, and uh, I know Jim's looking for my store. Uh, just go to this website, Jim, tikipugmusic.com. Easiest way to do it. it takes you right to the uh, store. Uh, all right. So if you wanted to run a category, so let's go back to our marketing and our promotions. Dun, da, da, da. And let's do another sale. Okay. And let's do 20% off my denim right now. So 20% off select items. And by the way, this might be news to some of you. You can run multiple sales. Yes, mommy does do that. I have. I think the, the order goes, okay, so I couldn't do anything else to the ones that are already 50% off. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, create rules using categories. Create rules. All right. Okay. So well, you got you go eBay. Go the side, right? You have to go to the one on the right. Yep. yep. So you got your eBay categories, your store categories. So I'm going to go to my store categories, which are my store. And I got 66 things in my denim, in my jeans and denim category. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Uh, I, one rule created, save and renew. A save and review, not renew. And again, we'll start this right now. And you can do more than one category, Jason, at a time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oops. Going the wrong way. And I'll run this for the week. Yeah, because mommy wants I'm going to. Redo mine since mine was so short. I want to. Okay, so then we'll call this jean sale. And now my all my jeans will be on sale 20% off. Now, if I had selected a, a pair of jeans specifically for the 50% off, they will stay at the 50% off. And then every pair of jeans that I didn't select is now 20% off. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah, because I mom wants to do, I think, certain categories, like my really old ones. <laughs> is the make offer still in effect? Yep. You didn't change your listings at all. You just put it on sale. So absolutely. So let's say you have something that you sky high price it. Like this shirt's 150 bucks, but it didn't ever sell. Say you're running this 50% off sale. So now you're at 75 and maybe realistically that shirt's 50 bucks and someone offers you 50, you might, you might sit and think, all right, all right, I'll take that 50 bucks. Because also even at 50% off, if someone offers you something close to an item you've had since 2005, uh, you should probably take it and get rid of it. Right. You know, mommy found that um, on this 50% off sale, I didn't have anyone come back with a, a, a lower offer. Everybody bought it my 50%, which is unusual. When I run a 20 or a 30% off sale, I will get offers, you know, as well. Uh, you know, yeah. sometimes I'll take them and sometimes I won't, just depending on how old the item is, as you said. So, you know, you have to be kind of flexible and kind of feel your way, you know, on those. And then here it is already. It's already there. The Bad Company cassette is on sale for half off for six, six whole dollars. 
Woohoo! All right. Back up and and as you can see, there's no items yet in the jeans one. eBay's doing its work, and it'll be there in a few seconds. So, yeah. uh, and I see Scott said he runs multiple sales a lot of the time. Yep. And there's other ways to run sales that we don't normally do, but we'll probably uh, going on the next couple of weeks. We'll we'll uh, dive into those too. Uh, I've never done markdown by a certain dollar amount, but we could try that and see how it looks. That kind of thing. Yeah, no, I never have either. I wonder how that would work. All right, let's see if our jeans are ready to go yet. There they are. Yeah, doesn't take long. I mean, you know, now, jump pretty it's quick. It's at 66 items, only 59. I'm going to guess it's going to come up to the 66 in a bit. And so if we go to one of my jean items, there we go, 20% off. Oh, I do not have best offer on that. Oh, my, oh, my. No wonder they're not selling. Uh-oh. <laughs> I priced them high, figure yeah. people make offers, but uh-oh. Yep. Uh-oh. No best offer. All right, let's look at this one. Look at the next one. Make sure. Is it yeah, there? So there's make yeah. offer, and there it is, 20% off. Right. So here's what we encourage you to do tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> when you have free time. <laughs> we have nothing but free time. <laughs> uh, run that 50% off sale and do it with some of your oldest items. Because, man, if you've got an item from 2005, that, that has been a waste of one of your slots, whether you have a 1,000 listings or 10, for 15 years. There's what? I just want to know what that item is that you're you've held on. Plus, I get tired of looking at my stuff. I want new stuff to be right. on the shelves. I need to go thrifting so bad. <laughs> but I have to say, our profit piles, oh man, we put in one heck of a dent in in listing. I'll tell you that. Now I could go through and I could do a third sale <clears throat> and catch the rest of my store. So let's do that. Yeah, I've done that. Mommy's done that because I had like 900 and some listings. So I did the 500 and then went back and started a second sale. Yeah. So let's, let's catch everything else. All right. So now let's put the rest of my store on sale. Let's make it a, 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 a bothersome 18% off. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I know how people like, you know, round numbers kind of thing. All right. right. So let's do 18% off. And this time we will create a rule to just select everything. And what that means is everything that isn't already on sale. Here's all inventory. And uh, save and review. And we'll start it right away. Start now. And we'll run it for the week. And we'll call this uh, April Snow Shower Sale. <laughs> In honor of my mom's snow. Yeah, wow. All right, there's my store. Everything's on sale all, uh, at three different levels. That's cool. Yeah, no, I haven't done that before, so I'll have to give that a whirl. There you go. So try it, uh, and don't be afraid. Don't go say, hey, Jay, we tried it. We did 14%. No, we want to see 50% of your old stuff. Let's let's get it moving. Yeah, because we want you guys to come back next week and, and give us your results. Let, let's yeah. see how everybody did. That, that would be a good follow-up. Yeah, meet us back here next Sunday. And uh, yeah. actually, what I'll do, uh, remind me, Mom, <laughs> uh, <laughs> if the two of us can remember, or Stace, uh, we'll put a post up in the group this week, uh, for the show, but then, you know, add, uh, the item you sold at 50% off just in case you don't turn in, tune in, we can use, uh, you know, show your items. Yep. I like that because mom, mom, mom I, I'm going to do multiples this time. I'm going to do, you know, certain categories that I want 50% off and then some twenties and some thirties. So mom's going to play with that and see how I do for the whole week. That'll be a good follow-up. Is there a difference between promotions and promoted items? That's uh, akin to saying is there a difference between a, a Ford pickup truck and a kitty cat, pretty much. They're not anything to do with the same other than they both start with P-R-O-M. That's it. Yep. Yep. Promoted listings is when you tell me, I'm going to give eBay a percentage of my sales if eBay shows it to more people. So it re really has nothing to do with your promotions. Promotions are your sales. Or, and, and we didn't demonstrate today. Buy two t-shirts, get a third free, or get a third at 50% off. You can get really creative with this stuff. But yeah, promoted items is a whole different beast. Totally different. Totally. Well, it looks like Brandon says he's going to do a 50% sale off as soon as his current sale ends. Woo! Joe, as always. Okay, what's the Angelique say? Or a post where sellers can post their 50% off stores, so maybe we can buy oh, two. Oh, I like that idea. Let's do that. Yeah. All right. Well, Angelique, I like that. Look at that. You took what we just kind of bought. Did on the spur of the moment, and you improved on it. Thank you very much. I love that yeah. idea. Let's shop. Let's yep. shop from each other. <laughs> you know, that's a really good idea. <laughs> Again, what else we got to do? So let's exactly. shop. Exactly. 
<laughs> I will say I saw a post right away when you were giving your weather update uh, that someone said that people are, aren't getting dressed. You know, I'm just in yeah. you know, an old T-shirt. So they're not buying clothes. And I say yeah, they are buying clothes. I am shipping clothes all over the world. So yeah, we've, we've been doing. Yeah, we've sold some clothes. So, yeah, yeah. So don't, don't stop listing clothes because clothes no. has been selling. No, for sure, guys. All right. Uh, da, da, da. So Marianne did ask, when you do 50% off, do you remove best offer? Heck no. That's too much work. No. no. Then you're going to put it back on. You know, it's every time I teach something and and mom and I do this show, I want to, you know, you got to do things yourself on sale from time to time, but don't add more work to your day. Like I, I've been doing store reviews in the secret beach and uh, the last one we did, they were measuring the length of the short sleeve and like the opening. No one has ever asked for that measurement ever right. in the history of me listing short sleeve shirts. So don't do more than you have to. You know, if someone's going to ask, they'll ask. But no one has ever asked me how long a short sleeve was. Yeah. I know. And, and, and getting back to, you know, taking off the best offer. No, like we said, don't take it off. I mean, yes, you're going to get some low ball offers. Don't take it personally. Just, you know, write them back. Uh, with I just sold that when I put on sale 50% off. See? <laughs> Bing! Boom! Just like that. Now, here's the thing. Is it one of you? Oh, oh. it is. It is. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. What'd, you, what'd, you, what'd Jim buy? <laughs> well, I don't know if Jim wants, wants to share oh, that. So that's, I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't uh, betray. Uh, if he does, I don't mind throwing it up there. Oh, Jim said bought one. Hey, Jim, if you don't mind, I will show it if you don't mind. Uh, Stacy sent me a question. Yeah, two dogs digs. Uh, I turned into their show today. It was a good show, you guys. They really had some great stuff. Uh, we said about 100 items between 33 to 50 percent off on Thursday. So their sale is going good. All right. So let me see here. That's a good question from John. Yeah. You know, there might be an easier way, John, but it, you know, it's pretty much you you go into their store. Let me get this out of the way. And uh, not even showing the sale items right here. So if I click on one, I, I will see. Okay, there it is, eighteen percent off. And then I click. If I click, see other items. And and again, all right, they're starting to show up. There it says eighteen percent off. Uh, even though we have the whole store, I think some things just haven't caught up to the sale yet. But eighteen percent off. So the best way to see it is if you're scrolling through their store, uh, like this. Okay, that's the best way. All right, Jim said sure, share. Okay, let me take that off for a second because I definitely don't want to share Jim's uh, email and address. Now, everybody, Jim can, be found, Jim can be found at. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to say, everybody that said no, they've never done a 50% off sale, you must do that. That's your homework. So we can hear from you by the end of next week. We want to we wanna see how you did. So thank you, Jim. Thank you very much. And Jim bought this Frankie uh, Thurston Howell Tiki mug. Nice. That's a great mug. Uh, this is the second version of it. The first one was green uh, mm -hmm. and uh, green matte finish. This is a green, uh, red glossy finish. And the back is like this. There you go. Nice. There cool you go. Mug. Cool mug. I like this. Uh, when you do best offers, do most pay immediately? Are there some that wait or never pay? Eh, some. Yeah. But most have it set up that they automatically pay because you know you set that offer and boom the payments there. You're like, man, that was quick. I know. Doesn't it blow your mind sometimes? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you know, I don't. We don't want you to do a fifty percent off sale on the item you listed two days ago. That's not what we wanted yeah. you to do at all. We want you to definitely go get your oldest ones and see if you can generate some income. Now this yeah. wasn't one of my oldest ones, but I do have multiples of it. And hey, Jim's a buddy. He got a great mug. I'll throw some uh, extras in there for you. So. Uh, I appreciate that. So thank, thanks for being part of the show today, Jim. <laughs> yeah, that really helps. <laughs> yeah, definitely be selective. But man, if you've got things, because I got a ton from 2017 and early 2018. So those are the first like 100, 150 things. I don't mind any of those being 50% off. Two, three years. I'm like, good Lord, time to go. Time to cross list. Time to have a sale. But, you know, right. we'll see. Woohoo. Yeah, boy, you see me getting mom all psyched up now to do it. I'm gonna do it after the show tonight. I'm gonna go. So, Susan, I have pretty much gotten rid of free shipping, and really? so because I charge for shipping, and look, it has not caused me any problems because uh -huh. uh, in the last six weeks, between eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, Macari, uh, Discogs, I've done over ten thousand in sales. 
Now right. I don't throw that number out there to be like, ha ha, I've done 10,000 sales, brag. But we're all quarantined. People are buying. And the fact that I charge shipping hasn't stopped anybody. 10,000 in six weeks. Woo exactly. Yeah. I, you know, I, I mean, most of you know that mom has never, ever done the free shipping. Never. And I sell extremely well for, for what we do. And I, I, when I listen to Craig and Rick today, they do not do free shipping. I think we're past that, you guys. Shipping has become so expensive, even though some of us incorporate it into our, you know, uh, selling price. Sometimes it just doesn't make it. And, you know, of course, you know, I sell a lot of big items, so there's no way that I can do free shipping. But even on my smaller things, and, you know, you always make a little bit of money on shipping. And by the end of the year, that's a nice little chunk of money on the extra that, you you know, you have from from shipping. And, you know, it, can't, get rid of your free shipping. <laughs> that's my advice anyways. All right. Just in case anyone wants to uh, do some more shopping in my store, I am putting the link in. And I never, ever, I never promote my store, but what the heck? I'm running a great sale. So if you want something, there's a link in the chat right now, tickypugmusic.com. Just go to my website, and all my website does is redirect you to my eBay store. Makes it super easy. Um, all right, uh, let's, let's throw this question out, because some of them say you know, they do free shipping uh, on a lot of their stuff. Um, do you think that would hamper your sales if you put shipping on it? I mean, and and I, I slowly changed over. Like I just started, okay, I had shipping on this and this. I wanted to see if it would affect anything, and it didn't. And so I was getting the same prices for my stuff, but then I was tacking on three, four, five, six bucks. Mm -hmm. And I always set it up so it's still reasonable, but because I know every way to get a discount on shipping, it's still reasonable, but I still make a buck here, three, four bucks on international there. And so at the end of the month, I'm always positive. Uh, like 200 250 dollars from shipping of the whole month and so that 250 every month pays for all my peanuts and bubble wrap and the rest of it exactly. so it works out exactly. yeah mom's on the same thing uh robert johnson said he said he lost a sale today because of shipping price robert i had a customer uh almost similar to what you're just saying and he contacted me and he says uh, the price of the item is good but your shipping of 21 dollars is way too high and then I wrote him back and I said, where do you live? Because I, you know, I do mind figuring I'm going to ship from here to California. And, uh, and he lived in New York. And I said, I can adjust that. Give me your zip code. Figured it out. It came, you know, it was $10 less and he bought my item. So sometimes you need to contact those people and say, Hey, you know, where do you live? Because that might, you know, make a yeah. huge difference on the amount of the so, But that's few and far between. I, I get that. Well, I got that question the other day about a record to Canada and I showed him, I sent him back a screenshot of what it cost, uh -huh. and he goes, well, people usually do it for free. I go, well, then they're dumb sellers. If they're <laughs> shipping internationally for free, oh. and, they, and they might have built it into the price, right? but he was he was saying my price was too high on the record, and my shipping price was too high, yeah. and he kept telling me, I can buy it cheaper elsewhere, and I thanked him. I said, please uh -huh. do, and guess what? And then, A day later, he made me another offer, and he <laughs> said again, I can buy it cheaper elsewhere. Well, please, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so, Scott you know. says, I came in late. Do you run 50% off on stuff that you lose money on? Okay. If you're losing money at 50% off, then you're not pricing your stuff, right? Or you're paying too much initially. So if even if I sell that cassette for $6, I only paid a quarter for it. So I'm still making a little bit of profit. So if you run a 50% off sale and you've lost money, you got to either source better or price better because you really shouldn't lose money. You're just not going to make a, not a lot. But again, it's on the items that you're like, okay, there's a point to turn in your money. So if you've invested money in a product that sat in your store for three years, your money's not doing any work for you right now. Uh, did you see Brandon's uh, re remark there? He said, I stopped free shipping after Christmas and my sales have been a lot better for him too. Good. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know, guys. It just doesn't, doesn't hamper my sales. I don't believe it hampers my sales. I really don't. And then uh, Barbie says, what's your opinion on being top right seller? Should I even try for it? Well, yeah, because you get a discount. So, Absolutely. you know, it's one of those things where I will squeeze every single penny any way I can out of everything. So at the end of the month or the end of the year, I'm like, all right, I, I did. I did a little bit of extra work. And because of that, I am better off for it. So 10% uh, off your final value fees. I'll take it. If you're sure. top rated plus, I think it's 20% off. I haven't checked in a while, but yeah, yeah you should. All right. Cool. All right. Let's see those sales. Like I said, I will start a post tonight. I will yeah. have uh, Nadine whip up a quick graphic for me. Yeah, uh, let's see it. your 50% off sales and only your 50% off sales. Don't be sneaking no 12% off sale in there. I mean, that's <laughs> all we want to see. 
Nope, we want the 50s. Yeah. Thank All right, you. speaking of Nadine, if you are in the Secret Beach, part two of Nadine's amazing Ralph Lauren uh, info, tips, tricks, bolos, and more, her typhoon, which is the guest experts in uh, the Secret Beach. She did her first part last week, kind of giving us the history of the brand and where it got to. And this week is all the bolos and some bonus tips. So things that you should definitely be on the lookout for. Uh, you do not need free shipping for top rated. You need it for top rated plus. plus. Yeah. I am top rated and I do not have free shipping. Uh, and then this coming Thursday, 30 Business, is going to be awesome. And it got more awesome after I, I, I got the guests in the graphic. So my good buddy, Lee Graham, Lee, used to live in Australia. He now lives on the East Coast of the United States. And he's there are some things he's trying to get used to on eBay America, eBay.com, as opposed to eBay Australia, eBay.au. And uh, co-hosting this week is none other than Craig Dawson. Hi, Craig. Hi. Because Craig lives in Canada. And he lists, lists on both ebay.com and ebay.ca, which is Canada. So we're really going to talk worldwide with cool. the three of us, the differences between listing and shopping around the world and what it's like to buy on eBay Australia, what it's like to buy on eBay Canada. We all know what it's like to buy on ebay.com. So uh, it should be a uh, fun show. Uh, Lee is definitely my brother from another mother. Uh, and he has something to share on Thursday night. That is going to make you rethink some of your items. He had a buy a item at his, at a buy it now price, didn't sell for months. Threw it up at an auction, sold for twice as much. He was asking for buy it now. Isn't that crazy? So we're going to talk about that. Why did it happen? Who knows? The right set of eyes. But you should try it with some things. And so we're going to talk about that on Thursday night, uh, April twenty third. This coming Thursday, eight o'clock East Coast, five o'clock on the West Coast. Cool. Very cool. All right, each week we uh, share cute and or funny and or embarrassing photos of us. This week I did Mama's Boy. This was from about 20 some years ago and not not the cutest nor the most embarrassing, but I wanted to see how, how good of an eye someone in the audience has. So we are at Disney or Universal, Stacy and I. The pigtails aren't real, but that blonde hair is. Woohoo, blonde hair. Blonde hair, Jason, with a little with a little baby beard and a little hoop earrings. Oh God, the earrings! <laughs> but the question is, if you know your '90s uh, uh, sunglasses, what yeah. kind of sunglasses are hanging around my neck? The, oh, God. the oh, brand. <laughs> Craig says he has to grow his beard by Thursday. You better hurry up, buddy. <laughs> if he wants to be in the show, boys, you better. Yeah. <laughs> so what kind of sunglasses are hanging around? If you know your sunglasses of the 90s, what am I wearing right there? Do you think yes? Because I did have a pair, a bunch of Oakleys, but nope, those are not Oakleys. Let me make it a little bit bigger. See, I uh, thought we went to Universal, but I got a little Disney uh, sticker on my shirt, so. Yes, you do. Uh, Tom Cruise aviators. Nope. A Ray Band. Nope. Wayfarers. Nope. Oh, I might have stumped everybody. And while people are still guessing, if my items are a couple years old, should I rejuvenate before? Nope. Just do that fifty percent off because if you're gonna rejuvenate, you'll have less things to rejuvenate. So, Ray Bans blue blockers. Jim, I am I am not sending you extras in your tiki mug now, Jim. That is not even funny. All right. So, uh, they those are. Bolet, nope. Oh, uh, Lori got it. Maybe I don't see her yet. Stacy just sent it to me, but Stacy's watching the actual chat, and mine's a little behind in the show. Uh -huh. Stephanie got it. Did I miss Lori? Oh, Lori did say it way back. Sorry, Lori. Yep, they're gargoyles. Uh -huh. I, 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 I don't know if gargoyles are still around, but they were uh, they were hot commodity. Uh, I'm pretty sure my uncle Nino, my mom's brother, my godfather, he wore gargoyles and. Uh, I definitely uh, emulated a lot of what he did. So, yep, those are some gargoyles. Cool. <laughs> yeah, probably at the Norway Pavilion in Epcot. Probably, Paul. Yeah. yeah Rocking me some. But I thought you'd all get a kick out of the uh, the blonde hair and the earrings and the oh, baby yeah. hair. Oh, my kid. <laughs> all right, now it's time for that. It's my mama, and this one's pretty epic, too. I've never seen this picture. So it's oh. a rarity that mom sends me a picture I've never seen. Oh, good. I'm like, oh, yay, this is fun. <laughs> Look uh, at this. <laughs> Look this at this sad egg tree. You like that? 
1967, everybody. And uh, Big Daddy was in Germany at the time. He said this was during, you know, he was gone. And that's uh, his mom, Liga. And the uh, house behind us there uh, is a house that they own, which is a century home. And mom and dad bought it from them when they decided to, to, to leave. And when dad came back from the service, we had a house to, to move into. But check out the silver blonde hair. Do you just love that? And it is Easter Sunday, so I've got my suit on and my white gloves. Don't you love the gloves, Jace? Is there a little hat on your head or something? Uh, See, there's something on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little thing a little, little netting thing that went over my yeah, my hair. And uh and of course part of that is my real hair and part of it isn't. But I was silver blonde at one time. <laughs> Oh lordy, but yeah, I love the white gloves. You can't. I don't. Can you see my shoes? What kind of shoes are there? There you go. I just some pumps. Yeah, yeah. Just, just some pumps. <laughs> Susan yeah. said you have a bird on your head. <laughs> but yeah, there, six. Seven, there's seven. a slice of Americana right there. There it is. Yeah. You like that one, honey? Yeah. <laughs> All right, what'd you tell this week, Ma? Okay, well, I tell you, we we have had a fabulous week, you guys. I think we've done close to a thousand dollars in sales just for the week, and that that's huge for us, you know, because you know, it's just you know, just the way we do it, we're, we're not out there for big, big bucks, but we have sold really well. So I'm only going to give you some of the scores. I'm saving some for next week. Okay, all right. The uh, Easter Bunny Blow Mold, uh, which I actually paid twenty five cents for, Jay's got quarter here. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yep. Oh, where's my quarter? And sold it for yeah. the twenty four whatever it is 49 yeah so yeah so that that was a that was a nice it, of course it was just before easter of course so you know it, it did go and of course what's not good when, when mom doesn't have a, a, a water ski sale uh we bought i bought this for five dollars jason at savers now this was a savers uh by us and i paid five bucks for that and we sold those suckers for 70 dollars took a best offer of 70 bucks so that nice. was yeah, that was a nice sale, real nice sale. Uh, this is uh, the Aaron Brew uh, Beer Coin Bank. It's a chalkware bank uh, that I paid three dollars for, and I took a best offer of twenty five on that. Okay, and the reason I sold this, this wasn't a huge sale, you guys, but um, it, it's it's a vintage tollware kit that was partially done, so they're going to have to you know finish painting it. Oh wow! <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, again, the paints are there. I'm sure they're hard as a rock, but, you know, maybe they can revitalize them. I don't know. But I did pay $3 for it and took a best offer of uh, the sale offer there of the twenty ninety seven. Yeah, because I ran I ran a sale last week. But it was only 30% off. So, yeah, so that and I, I got an idea. <laughs> Let's have a contest next week. And even, even even if it's a photo we've already shared, you you bring your best, I'll bring my best. And then we'll have the audience vote on which, which photo is better, funnier, cuter, or something oh. like that. All right. Okay. For competition next week. Change, okay. change it up a little bit. All right. <laughs> you know, I'm just thinking about it. Like, you know, let's change okay. it up. Okay. We can do that. Yeah. That'll work. Okay. Next item. Remember the horse bit I showed you guys here not too, too long ago. You know, and that's the first one I've ever seen for sale at a, at a garage sale, you guys. And so if, if you do run across horse bits, they do so well. I paid uh, three bucks for that one, sold it for a best offer of 22 Okay. Mm -hmm. well, of course, maybe some of you won't know what that is. This is a, the small Coleman cooler. Remember, Dad bought two, one a bigger one and, and the smaller one that I paid a dollar for, and we sold took a, a sold it for fifteen. Yeah, fifteen, but the exact price. Okay. Angelique, I know where her mind's at. I thought those were handcuffs for a second. <laughs> some people do. That's her okay. mind is either in the bedroom or the back of the cop car. I'm not sure which. <laughs> oh, heavens. <laughs> Okay. Speaking oh, of the bedroom. <laughs> yes. Uh, speaking of that, this is the uh, in. It, these were in bloom John uh, two piece pajama set that it was. We, we went to um, our, our the Burton uh, Fairgrounds, Jason, and they have a thrift store there. You know, fill the bag for five dollars. Yeah. Well, these pajamas ended up costing mom a quarter because I had so many items, and we sold them for twenty two ninety nine full price. I was shocked at that. That's great. Yeah, that was really nice. And uh, Monk Tiki. Um, I bought these two resell and um, the lowest I will go is 55 on these Jason. That was mom's cutoff point. And we did take a best offer because they cost us 20 bucks plus shipping. So, you know, the price was up there a little bit more, but I still made $25. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. So that was still good. There you flip, go. uh, flip our tiki mugs. And this, remember when I showed this guy, I, I, I went uh, shopping, you know, after the holidays just to see what was left on the racks. And these were there for 80% off at the, when we walked in there. 
So I think I paid uh, two bucks for it and I sold them for $20. So that was, that was a Hanukkah menorah light up, uh, you know, brand new in the box. And, oh, you jumping to that? You missed something. I did? Yes, you missed two things. I did? Two yes, things? Two oh things. Gosh. Hold on. Prior to that. <laughs> uh, did you do the yeah, shake, the shake well, pen? I had it. Uh, so I don't know where it went. Yeah, I, I remember uh, loading it up. And, and the then cookie, whoop, whoop. and the cookie jar. You cookie jar. Yeah. There ain't no cookie jar on this list. No, did I miss it myself? Ha! <laughs> uh, how are we doing? Do we have I, thirteen I, items. Huh? Do we have thirteen items or twelve? What did twelve. I twelve. Oh, I did miss one. Okay. All but, right. Fifty uh, percent so me, fifty percent you. Hold on, I'll get you your shag. Hold on. Okay, that's all right. That's so weird though, because I, I actually. Clicked on it and opened it up. I don't know where it went. Yeah. And cookie jar. I pretend you didn't see what you just saw. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big surprise. <laughs> you want to leave the good stuff to the end. All right. Cool. Cookie jar. Right. The thing looks like a bell. Yeah. Okay. All right. So cookie jar and shag. Okay. Here we right. go. Okay. Here we go. Sorry for the delay. There we go. All right. All right so which one's first? Okay. So this is, I bought, I bought these at, um, a tiki event that we go to and they had them on sale because they had some left over from the previous year. So I bought five of them at 10 bucks a piece. And I just sold this one for $30 and I've got uh, the last one I sold, I think for 35. So I've been making some nice money and I got a couple left. You guys, I'm down to two. Uh, but, but you know, Jason, I looked up on shag pendants. I don't think I'm charging enough to be honest. So well, I will charge more. Yeah, I think I'm gonna the, the new ones. I'm gonna relist and, and put them up there uh, a little bit more because I his pendants are bringing you know 45, 55, that kind of money. Right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna jump it up. Uh, this is one of the uh, cookie jars that we bought when we we came home with a ton of cookie jars that one day. Cost me five dollars, and I did take a best offer of twenty five on the cookie jar. So that it's was good. Like, it doesn't uh, seem that big. Uh, it, it, yeah, it, it, it stood about uh, 12, what, twelve inches high, maybe. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, okay. Uh, I showed these. It's been a while. These have been listed for a while. Not a year, but they've been listed for a while. Uh, this is one of the, uh, this is the, which one do you have first? The chrome one? The chrome uh, one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, well, we'll go to the chrome one then. The chrome cigarette ashtray stand. Now, if you recall, guys, back when we originally got this, it was horrible condition. Uh, we showed dad's pictures. He cleaned and cleaned and cleaned to clean the chrome. I mean, it still had the speckled patina, you know, from aging and, and so forth. And um, and it does light up. And it, it was a beauty. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and we paid $7 for that one and took a best offer of 130 bucks. And dad, well, you list anything that plugs in, if it's older than, you know, you bought it last week at Target, always show the plug because the plug tells you kind of when it came out. Uh, and that everybody who's buying a vintage lamp is going to want to see the plug. So don't forget your plug. Yep. 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 That's so important. So that one we sold for one thirty, And then about two hours later. <laughs> oh, that's so weird. We sold the second one in the same day. Now, this one was not quite as nice because they had painted it gold. Um, and uh, similar. And, and, you know, Jason, take a look at that one. When they put it together after they painted it, they put it together wrong. <laughs> I mean, the pieces and parts don't are not in the right order. Because look at the other one of mine, you know, the the chrome one, and you'll see. They, they, oh. they yeah, they just got, they just really have them. See, the 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 marble should be low, yeah. and it's hung on that one, you know. To, so when it lights up, it should be in the in the bottom. But, but funny, uh, picture of the plug in this one. Uh yeah, we didn't show it that on that one. Oh, bad, uh, bad. bad. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> and this one, this one here, the one that was painted gold, was the uh, we went to that house that was having tons of things for sale. Remember, I had the Blackamoor lamps and all of that. So we paid ten dollars for that one, you guys, and we did take a best offer of ninety bucks. So ninety and one hundred and three, we paid two hundred twenty bucks. Can you can you believe it? Poor Dad had to package two of those up in one day. That was tough. That was a lot of hard work, to, you know, to package those, but. He does one hell of a job, as most of you know. So, so there you are. Those are the scores. And I did have a lot more, but I'll save some for next week, just in case I have a slow week coming up. Okay. Well, we're pushing here. Uh, 
Let's we have see. five minutes. So give us five minutes of uh, okay, some stuff you've never shared, and then we'll. Uh... I think what I'm going to do, gang, is um, I'll save this one for next week. I'm going to show you some uh, Southwest Native American Indian items because I haven't listed these yet, and it's something that I have, I, I talk about it all the time, but you know I have not um, uh, shown any actually for sale. Okay, this is a hand painted gourd, uh, and as you can see, it's it's made with uh, some leather and the beads and some uh, shells and this here uh, I, i'm going to be probably listing for around 25 bucks uh if it had, it had been signed it would be worth a lot more money so you know remember that when you do see the indian name on them they will bring you more money uh this is an indian board rattle a shaker and uh, these will sell uh, usually you'll see like rabbit fur on these and always with some leather and uh, this will probably list for around 20 25 bucks okay i'm just i'm showing you every these everyone so that you can, uh, when you come across these at your sales, you know, you'll have an idea what to be looking for. This is... Stay safe, Susan. Bye-bye. Yeah, <laughs> this is a, uh, a, a doll. She's really quite lovely. Um, she's got all her beadwork and uh, her bag. And she does still have her tag. And this is by Traditions. It's a limited edition. And uh, this particular doll will sell for around 35 40 bucks. Okay. A lot of beadwork. Beadwork always, you know, attracts people when you do that. Um, okay. Let me show this piece. This is known as sand art, everybody. Some of you might know that. Uh, is that like is, gravel art? It's not quite. Not quite because it is sand, but it's, you know, it's, it's done. It's handmade. Um, it is signed, but I cannot make out the signature. Sorry to say. It says English lived there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. And uh, this is actually Navajo uh, pottery. So it's, it's good to know, you know, the different potteries by the, by the different tribes. So, you know, do your research. So when, when you're going to, this will probably, this won't bring a lot of money, around 20, 25 bucks. Okay. But little by little, mom wants to, uh, you know, get rid of these. Now, this piece is by Gary Rose. It is actually resin, you guys, but it is a skull. But he's got carvings of the Indian and the eagle. And the bear down there, uh, we've got feathers showing the teeth, and it is numbered. Uh, what do we got here? 86 out of 3,000. So I bought it early, as you can see. I've had it for you know, when went for quite a while. And this, uh, this particular item, I probably list for around $125. Okay, just to give you an idea there, nice. And now, this is a gorgeous piece. Mom, um, you know, my, when we did buy our, our stuff for our Southwest home, we, we did spend some really gorgeous money. This is an eagle. See his carved head here, right here, Jace? Yep. Yeah. And then you've got your leather. And this is actually a horse's tail. And what's nice about this, uh, I do have the artist's name on this particular item. This was by John Iron Tree. And I originally paid $125 for it. It's a carved head of uh, a horsetail eagle head spirit it's called spirit eagle and i will uh list this for around 125 bucks uh, because it is a beautiful beautiful piece and where you have these displayed all, all all over your house so like our house is our tiki now yep. mom, was all, mom and dad's was all southwest everywhere, everywhere you guys we we had quite a bit um this is a nice bronze statue of an indian this arrow and it is numbered and this is by uh create creative productions i think it was and this I, I should get around 85 90 bucks on this particular statue and it's really really a beauty very piece. cool yeah and that's it I'll, I'll i'll end there so we can end on time for a change <laughs> and there see, you go. because next week what i'm going to do you guys i'm not even going to go go through that i have a tub of like a lot of t-shirts and sweatshirts and things that i don't even know what's in there so I'm not going to go through it until I show them to you on the oh, show. Oh, that'll be fun. Okay, so we'll see because I have it's about a three year old tub, maybe, maybe more. <laughs> oh my, yeah, that well, should be I, fun. As we were working down, you know, taking uh, stuff from the, th the the profit piles, you know, I finally came across, uh, you know, a couple of tubs. I said, "Oh my God, these are still here." <laughs> and I can tell by the price of the items because they're a lot cheaper, you know. So, so all right. Let, let's go run our 50% off sales. There will be a post up tonight in the thrifting board. It'll be up all week. It'll be up forever, actually. Uh, yeah. But pop your items that are for sale in your store 50% off. 
and let's do some A, shopping from each other, but B, let's share some like, hey, I finally sold this after after eight years being listed. Yeah. So let's get it listed. Uh, do us a favor, give us a thumbs up right down there. And if you've never subscribed to the show, click the su subscribe button, click the bell. The bell lets you know when we are going live. So give us a thumbs up and we'll see you next Sunday with Mom's Mystery Tub of Clothes. clothes. Yeah, I, I think that'll be fun. Something different. <laughs> we'll be all surprised together. <laughs> yes, it's an untubbing show. It's an oh, I like that. Show. I like it. <laughs> That's great. Just great. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll see you uh, Thursday and uh, next Sunday. So for selling past your expiration date, being thrifty over 50, I'm Jay. I'm Peg. Bye, gang. Thanks for watching. See you later. Have a good day. Woo! Bye.